Jackie. I go to Britain Deerfield Schools. And today we are making s'mores brownies. And let's get to it. So first you're gonna take two cups of sugar, pour that into your bowl. And then you're going to take one and a half cups of all-purpose flour. Then you're going to take a half a teaspoon of salt and one teaspoon of baking powder. And then you're just gonna combine that all in a KitchenAid mixer. You can do it by hand too if you don't have a mixer available for you. And you're gonna take your baking cocoa as well and just pour that in there gradually. As that's mixing, you're gonna to wanna to take a bigger bowl and a whisk. And then you're going to take four large grade A eggs or any kind that you would like. Pour those in there and take some vegetable oil and that is just one cup of vegetable oil and two tablespoons of light corn syrup. The rubber spatula comes in handy. Just make sure your area is always clean. You don't want anything in your way. You're just gonna wanna whisk all this together so that it's fully combined. That is what it should look like when it's fully combined. We're gonna take a look at this and you're gonna slowly incorporate your egg mixture into the flour mixture. As that is mixing, you're gonna to wanna to turn your oven on to 350 to preheat it. So now we're gonna prepare our pan. You can use any size pan you would like. I am using a square pan and I had put foil, tin foil in it to make it a lot easier so you can just pull it out, put it to the side and cut it. So there's no taking a fork and ruining your brownies. It makes it so much easier to clean as well. You're also gonna wanna spray your pan. Pour it right into your pan. I chose chewy brownies just cause it's my favorite. Make sure you get it into every corner so that it can bake evenly. Looks about good. We're gonna put it in the oven now. All right. And your oven will be at 350, just as I said. And close it, and now we wait 40 minutes. All right, so 40 minutes is gone. Take this out of here. And then right now, as you immediately take it out, it's still hot. So you're gonna take two cups of mini marshmallows, sprinkle them over the top, you can put a little more, whatever you'd like. Spread them out whoop, so that they evenly get around the brownie. Then you're gonna pop it right back in the oven for about 30 to 60 seconds until the marshmallows all melt together. So we're gonna pop this in here. All right, we're gonna take this out of here. And then for a little more color, you can leave it how it is if you'd like but a little more color. I'm going to torch it. You wanna be a quite a distance away so they don't burn, but if you like them to burn, you can go ahead and do that, like that one. <laughs> and then take your graham crackers. You can do them how, whatever size you would like. Sprinkle that over the top. I took two graham crackers and crushed them up. You can do more if you would like. All right, and that is how you make s'mores brownies. I'm Jacqueline Gox, and thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.